Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So it's season 39, and this is war number seven. And we're going against an alliance uh, called TH Hun. <laughs> I'm not sure how to pronounce that other name there. Uh, but let's go ahead, let's see who they've banned. Torch, Hood, and Wiccan, okay. And only one this time. I don't know what was going on that last time I saw two there. Um, was that because we were, yeah, we slipped down to tier three. So maybe that is tier two and one you can ban two. If so, I'm happy to be back in tier three. Uh, but anyway, let's go ahead and take a peek in here. Now, um, have one of my Alliance mates, uh, concerned with that Tarax. Uh, don't think he brought in, uh, some counters, but I don't know. Uh, I may wait and uh, see what he says before I go in. Uh, but, of course, we've got Gallon, who should be able to handle these two. Uh, I don't often fight uh, Wong, but should be okay. And Titania, I just have to remember not to go after her right away for a parry because she often starts that unblockable if she's dashing in. So Gallon for that. Gallon can do this fight as well. And this was sneaky. Uh, we've got Eye Bomb, but Claire can stay in her Curse of Plague and be fine. Don't have to worry about the uh, chitinous thorns because I don't believe I bomb uh, gets armor ups, so we should be fine there. And then we've got Professor X, who's always annoying, but if I don't mess up, uh, Claire should be able to handle that. And then you got a Modok. Ugh. Um. I think Nebula could take that fight still. The only problem is that auto block of his, so I won't be able to get the, uh, if I'm not careful, you know, after I parry with the full charges and then try to do a special two, he'll probably auto block that and I'll just waste that. So, ah. Uh. I might think of somebody else to come in there with uh, for that fight if I'm taking that fight. Now, if we swap and I take uh, this Nimrod, then uh, Dipper can bring somebody for that MODOK. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. Um, but that Terex, Claire could probably do it. Yeah, I mean, she probably could do that fight. I don't know how well, but she could probably do that fight. But we'll see. We'll see. Um, I'll delay going in uh, and see what they say. But we'll find out uh, in a minute how uh, who I'm going to bring in, because I don't know right now whether I'm going to bring in the Dream Team or bring in somebody else uh, to handle some of these. All right. Let's get on with the fighting. Okay, so you can see I'm going in here, not with the Dream Team. Uh, I brought in Titania this time. And she's more for backup in case needed. But this first fight, all Gallon against Titania. Now, she doesn't get armor ups. She's actually immune to buffs. So... Gallon doesn't have any particular advantage over her on this uh, path anyway. So that's why you see me doing medium light medium. And I had to watch that. I always get caught by that. So I learned. But I'm just doing medium light mediums to try to build up. Okay. Her specials are really easy to evade. All right. And you can see here. 
just baiting out those specials and I'm watching her uh, haymaker timer. All right, so here we go. Bam, right into it. This is Sparta. Done. Gallon once again crushes the competition. Loving it, man. Gallon is just a beast. And I fully expect folks to start banning him, especially if they watch my videos. But anyway, we got the next up. It's going to be Wong. Now, I remember when I fought Wong in the battlegrounds, he was doing some stuff I wasn't very familiar with, and I couldn't figure out quite what was going on. Sometimes he went unblockable and all this other stuff. But Gallon should be able to take him out pretty quickly. I don't even remember if he, you know, got the armor ups or anything like that. But uh, when I got in here, I didn't see any. So I started just doing the medium light mediums. And see, there we go. He got unstoppable and hit me. And I was like, um, okay, cool, cool. And I want to bait this out. And I don't know how to evade it. He is definitely one that I need to practice. So I just blocked it. All right, now I'm ready. But then he went unstoppable again off of his heavy. Now, I tried to do a heavy there. You saw what happened? All right, that happens. Boom, he's done. But did you see what happened? I parried and then just stood there because I was trying to heavy. And it just said, no, you didn't try to heavy. I didn't see nothing. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't feel you tap nothing. What, you did, you did something? Oh, I do know what you did. You let up off the block, so we can do that. Fortunately, he did not uh, punish me, and I didn't get too messed up by that. All right, so I didn't take this uh, Terax here. Um, that one was already uh, dealt with by one of my Alliance mates. But we've got up here Node 24. Now, this Node, I can do with either Titania or Gallon. Like I said, I got Titania in here mostly for backup because if Gallon had gotten hurt a little too much and I didn't feel like using items to heal him up, I'd just bring in Titania. But Gallon is looking good here and I'm turning off, um, I'm turning on Do Not Disturb so that I can focus on this fight because Gallon is a little bit low in health uh, and I don't want to mess up. So we do our medium light mediums here and he's just gaining power and I'm looking at it going, um, okay. All right, bait that out. There we go, block it, medium light medium. Okay, block it, all right. Just keep on doing that. Medium light like medium, just try to build up. All right, block it. Okay, not even playing around because we can't afford it. Okay, medium light like medium. And I was tempted there, but play it safe. Block it. Okay, wait him out, wait him out, wait him out. We got some good stuff in there. Hit him. This is Sparta. And he's done. That just looks so good when you get that off, man. It's just beautiful. So down goes Nimrod. Gallon is a beast. So we didn't need Titania. Loving it. So now I can move on into section two and face my next opponent. And of course, this path is Claire. The only thing that I always worry about with Claire, and sometimes I forget, is she needs to stay in poison mode, okay? I don't want to switch her out in this fight. She's going to stay in poison mode for this fight. If she switches out, it's an accident, okay? So that first five-hit combo ending in a light got her into the poison. And every time you see me do a, a five-hit combo, it's dangerous because the game sometimes thinks my last tap, uh, last swipe is a tap. And then she switches. And since I didn't mean to switch, I don't always notice until it's too late. 
and then I have to try to cycle all the way back to get back to that mode. And by then, I might be dead, who knows. So to play it safe, you don't finish your combos, but I forget sometimes. And I just get in the middle of the fight and I'll just, you know, start doing five hit combos. Okay, but that's the way you wanna play her safe, even if I don't always do that. Okay, easy fight, boom. We didn't have any mishaps. And as you can see, Claire came out smelling like a rose, despite all that nasty, stinky poison that she had to deal with. All right, so next up, we've got Professor X. Now, Professor X, he's difficult to parry, and you have to watch for uh, when he gets that, um, oh, what is it? Uh, miss mode, whatever, I, I forget sometimes uh, what it's called, all right? But you'll see it. You just have to be careful. He's not that hard, okay? There we go, I cycled all the way through, and now, boom. It's on me right now. Falter, that's it. And so I waited for him to fire it off, and then I swiped at him to use up the falter, and now we're good. We shouldn't have to worry about it again because he should be dead before he can get falter again. And done. Claire, once again, came out smelling like a rose. Love Claire. She's easily my favorite mystic. I use her all the time. If Mystic is an option and they don't have nodes that take her out of the running, I use her. All right, so I did not fight this MODOK. It was already called by another one of my Alliance mates. We'll be back in a minute and you'll find out how this war ended. And we're back and unfortunately we lost this war. Um, we've been not doing so well. Uh, last war we lost, we're pretty much sure that we're going to get Platinum 3. Uh, but we were up in a Tier 2, and so we're pretty locked into Platinum 3 at this point, uh, which is not bad. Not bad at all. So anyway, uh, take a look here. Congrats to our MVPs for this war. All right, that's going to do it. Thank you for watching the video. Feel free to hit that like button if you enjoyed the video. Take care, and you all have a blessed day.